That's right, it's time for another Tech Linked, because tech news doesn't take holidays. It gives them. What? Never say never when it comes to gaming-related meme gadgets. First there was the Razer Toaster, and now we're getting a KFC console, or KF console as they're calling it, that apparently can actually play games. That's right, it's shaped like the Colonel's famous chicken bucket. Bucket? Bucket. Bu you know what? Bucket. Forget it, I'm not doing this today. <laughs> It's shaped like the Colonel's famous chicken bucket and combines an Intel Nook with a Cooler Master case and, interestingly, allows players to swap out their own graphics card, as long as it's not edible. Ah, the other specs look pretty good too, including two terabytes of NVMe storage, gameplay up to 4K and 240 hertz, and yes, of course, the all-important chicken chamber for keeping your greasy treats warm while you game. Personally, I can't imagine slurping down fried meat is going to help your CSGO performance, but uh, hey, you do you. No word on pricing or availability, but hopefully it comes dusted with 11 herbs and spices. Haha. -ha. The FBI and Europol recently shut down a VPN called Safe Inet? I don't know which the US Justice Department has said became notorious for being used by folks dealing in ransomware, skimmed cards, and other such shady doings. Now, although any VPN could be used for illicit purposes, I mean, anything could really, like... Yeah, he's like, like from LTCstore.com. That's right. Safe Inet seems to have been targeted for refusing to cooperate with victims and with law enforcement, and was disproportionately popular with cyber criminals. Of course, the concern is that it might not end up taking a whole lot for the government to go after other, more legitimate VPNs that are mostly being used for above board reasons. You know, like watching French Netflix or whatever. It's so much better. It looks like we're going to be getting a new model of Samsung Galaxy sooner rather than later. The Galaxy S21 is reportedly due out next month and Samsung has started taking pre-orders already. They don't refer to the S21 specifically by name, but they are advertising the next Galaxy on their website, as well as offering credits for old phones. Now, you don't have to buy a Galaxy if you sign up. I mean, Galaxies are expensive and, and big. Where will you store them? <laughs> because all the pre-order system does is guarantee you a chance to buy. Wait a minute, really? Yeah, I guess it's kind of like the EVGA Q for RTX 3080s, but... Hopefully, much less frustrating. Uh, we should know more in a couple of weeks since existing rumors have stated that we'll be getting an official unveiling on the 14th of January, which is the end of CES. That sounds like a galaxy brain move to me. Oh, we have to move on. Now it's time for Accelerated Extracts, brought to you by Brilliant, the website and app that makes learning accessible and fun. Instead of making you memorize facts, Brilliant's approach is based on problem solving and active learning. So you'll encounter concepts visually with courses laid out like bite-sized pieces of a story that you can interact with. There's no tests, no grades, and therefore no stress. Just pick a course you're into and get started, whether you want to learn programming, brush up on your algebra, or dive into the science of neural networks. Brilliant's got you covered, and the first 200 people who go to brilliant.org slash techlinked will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. So click the link below and get smart. Accelerated extracts. They small, but they thick. CD Projekt Red said that Cyberpunk 2077 has already sold 13 million copies. What a lucky number. And that's after you take into account all of the refunds. Of course, with all the bad publicity and thanks to the game's bugs and poor performance, the company's stock is still a lot lower than it was, even with the positive sales news. So hopefully uh, they won't continue to find themselves in the red later on. Fusion power still seems like a pipe dream to many, but one group of researchers in South Korea found a way to sustain a reaction for 20 seconds, which is far more than the previous record. Plasma inside the reactor, no, it's a big deal. Plasma inside the reactor got to 180 million degrees Fahrenheit, or roughly as hot as an old AMD FX CPU under load. Ha ha ha, got him. All joking aside though, it's an important breakthrough if we ever want to have fusion energy powering up our gadgets without asking Doc Ock. And if you've been having problems getting your hands on a new AMD Zen 3 processor, you might have an alternative very soon as Intel is reportedly shipping its new Rocket Lake CPUs sometime between late January and late February. 
The new 500 series motherboards that go with them are expected to be announced next month at CES as well. So, hey, maybe Intel will find a way to rock it back to relevance. Ha <laughs> ha! The script says enough puns, but it's not enough puns. No, too many puns. Carbon dioxide emissions are one of the key factors driving global climate change concerns, but what if there was a way to take CO2 and turn it back into fuel? Well, scientists at Oxford think they have a way, and it turns out it might not even be expensive or complicated. Although we'd need to capture lots of CO2 in order to do this in a meaningful way, the scientists have been talking to potential industry partners. So maybe one day you'll be able to just like exhale into the bottom of your phone to power it up. And Nintendo has claimed victory in court over a company that did Mario Kart style go-kart tours of Tokyo. The legal dispute originated when Nintendo found out that the company was letting people dress up as Mario characters, which raised intellectual property concerns, especially after several customers got into accidents. <laughs> Nintendo is owed over 480,000 US dollars, which is, uh, what is that in, you know, bring, you know, like coins, right? <laughs> And that's it for today, folks. Come back Wednesday for more tech news and keep on dodging those blue shells. Oh, you gotta, wait, you can't dodge a blue shell. That's Watch the whole out. idea. Yeah. Ah! <laughs>